In this video, we'll be connecting our EditorX collection field to our Google Sheets database. As always, please subscribe to the channel below and follow us at NoCodeDevs. Check it out. So here we are in our dashboard. I'm going to create a new site. In this video, we're going to be clicking to EditorX, of course. And when we come to this, I'm going to create, choose a random template. That looks a cool one. Let's choose that one. Here we go. It's got to be said, Enterex has got some really nice templates, side issue. So let's now add a database. Uh, let's add content manager to site. Click on underneath here, let's create a new collection. This collection can be, because my Google Sheets is related to football clubs. Now in here, the fields, let's do this. Let's have a look at what fields we've got. So I've created name, location, there's the description and league. Right, so in here, so a name will be that title will be name, add a field there, that can be location, save. This one can be there's for description. I'm going to change the field type to rich text. I want it to be a long text field, something different. There we go. And the last one was league. That can be text as well. Save that. And I also want to pull through in here, it says hidden fields. I want to pull through the ID. There we go. So that's what we've got. That matches exactly what we've got here. Perfect. So now what we need to go to is, I'll link, link this in below, is the API documentation. And what it's going to do, Wix HTTP functions post. So we're posting a record into our back end. Now, all you have to do is basically follow this, follow this recommendations here. So we have to use this U URL. What first thing we have to do is, as it says here, the post function is not a function that you can call from your code. You define the function without name. So we need to create this in our Threx site. So let's go back here. That we need to turn on dev mode. So turn on dev mode. There we go. Turn on dev mode, and you're going to this one public and back end. Let's move my face. This is what you need to do. So in here. You need to add a web module in the back end. So it says, think from rightly. It's not a function. You have to a file named in your site's back end section. So in the back end section here, add a web module. And we call it, well, it tells us to call it there HTTP functions.js. Perfect. So we'll open that up. So we'll leave all that as it is. Now, this is the code here. Let's grab. So we've copied this bit of code here. And we need to make a couple of changes to this. So back here, go in here, stick that there. That's it. Now it says export function there, as you can see, post my function. Now what you want to do here is change the name of that. So we can call it, we call it my club, my club. There we go. And you can insert my collection. My collection is called, if I remember rightly football clubs but there we go get out of this bit here and so in my insert my collection we put football clubs. there we go and what we also need to do in the club section is in your content manager it's in here you need to click on these dots here more actions you need to go collection settings You've got additional settings, you've got site content, yeah, so you've got custom use, you've got set custom permissions there, and you change these to anybody. All these get changed to anyone. It's basically saying who can read the content, who can create, who can update, and who can delete. Because obviously you want Zapier, in the, our case, to be able to delete and to create content. Right, so that's all done. So that's our front end ready for data to be put into it. Perfect. So now we're going to sign away to Zapier to create a Zap. I call it Create Zap. So this is how we're going to put our data, connect the two together. We've got Google Sheets. So we're going to get new or updated spreadsheet row. Right there, there we go. Continue. Choose an account. I need to add a new account to mine. There we go. Choose a spreadsheet, football clubs, worksheet, worksheet one. Perfect, there we go. Test trigger. Right, so it's pulled the last one up. 
Now in this one here, this is where we want to send the information to EdTorex. So we need a webhook. So this is how we do it. So we need a webhook. The so webhook's on its eight. Yeah, there we go. We want a post request. Remember that, that's very important because we're putting information, we're posting information into there. And here we follow, so I've got a free site. We follow the URL that it says there. So it's free site, Zapier, post that in there. Right, so my username on EditorX is Paul. Eight, there we go. The site name is, I'm too sure what the site name is. My site too, it says there. Dash two, there we go. And the function name is Football Club. No, the function name, what was my function name again? Function name was My Club. My Club, there we go. Payload is a JSON, so we change that payload type there. And now what we need to put in, what we need to do is go back to our collection. And what I do, the best way to do it is go to properties and collect the field key. That's what we need to do here. So data is field key, goes in there, so it's title. You want ID, because the ID is automatically created by EdtorX. Location, there we go. And what we also need to add, as you can see, so it's a headers, content type, application, JSON. So we need to grab that there, copy that, back into Zapier, that goes there, tap that across, and that there. So it's there. Now here, after you pull your titles in, is where you put your data. So the name is Rangers, location is Glasgow, description is OK, league is all SPL. Now, fingers crossed, this will work. Nope, we've got a 404 error. That's so that didn't quite work, but the collection, what I think is right, is collection ID was that. And I accidentally called it that there. I thought there would be no gaps to it. So that is what we need. There were no gaps in the insert bit. Let's publish that. Done. Now let's retest. And there we go. Perfect. Now just make sure that's added. It's going back into here. Content manager. Manage content. Put more clubs. And there we go. So that was the issue. I had a, in my code bit. I thought it was a bit weird that the gap. A gap between football clubs. But if you go in here. Edtorex makes it really easy for you to see your code here. Sorry. And you click on that. And you go in edit settings. And it says a collection ID. That's what we needed in there. Not the collection name, the collection ID. And that's it. So we've added content from our Google Sheets straight into our EditorX backend. I right, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at NoCodeDevs and keep on building.